Here's a problem that deals with diluting a solution to get a desired pH. We're given that a 250 milliliter sample of HBr has a pH of negative 0.4. And we're asked how much water needs to be added to the sample to bring the pH up to positive 0.4. Looking at HBr, we see that it's a strong acid. So the concentration of HBr is equal to the concentration of hydronium. So any hydronium ion concentration in the solution to this problem will be equivalent to the concentration of HBr. The best way to organize our information is with a table like this. We're given the initial and final pH values. But dilution calculations require molar concentrations rather than pH, so pHs must be converted to hydronium ion concentrations. Because a dilution calculation will be done, we also need to work with the initial and final volumes. The initial pH is negative 0.4, and the final pH is positive 0.4. The initial volume, which we'll call V1, is 250 milliliters. Given the information here, we can find what the final volume of the solution has to be in order to have the desired pH of positive 0.4. We'll call this the final volume V2. Later, we can calculate how much water needs to be added to reach this volume. In order to do a dilution calculation, we must change both pHs into hydronium ion concentration. We'll call the initial hydronium ion concentration C1. The formula we use is a concentration of hydronium is 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative of negative 0.4 which is 10 to the positive 0.4, which comes out to 2.5 molar. Now we'll find the hydronium ion concentration in our final solution, which we'll call C2. Again, we use the formula hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the negative pH. This time we substitute positive 0.4 in for the pH. So 10 to the negative pH is 10 to the negative 0.4 which is 0 0.40 molar. 0 0.40 happens to be the antilog of negative 0 0.40. This is a rare case where the antilog of a number is just the negative of the number when rounded to significant figures. We now have the values for C1, C2, and V1. And with the dilution calculation, we can find the value for the final volume, V2. We'll start by writing the dilution formula C1V1 equals C2V2. And we'll write it in this way, C2V2 is equal to C1V1. Now we'll rearrange the equation to solve for our unknown V2, which is C1V1 over C2. We can substitute 2.5 molar in for C1, and 250 milliliters in for V1. And finally, we'll substitute 0 0.40 molar in for C2. We can now use this expression to calculate the final volume, V2. We'll cancel out the unit molarity. Performing the calculation gives us 1562.5 milliliters. We won't round to significant figures until the last step of this problem. We'll record the value for the final volume, V2, in our table here. When we're adding water to a solution, the final volume V2 will be equal to the initial volume V1 plus the volume of water added. We'll rearrange the equation to solve for the water that needs to be added. This is what we're asked for in the question. We'll substitute 1562.5 milliliters in for V2 in our equation and 250 milliliters in for V1. Subtracting 250 milliliters from 1562.5 milliliters gives us 1312.5 milliliters. The lowest number of significant figures given in our data was 2, so rounding 1312.5 to two significant figures gives us 1300 milliliters, or 1.3 liters. So now we can summarize the final answer. If a sample of the strong acid HBr has a pH of 0.4, we would need to add 1300 milliliters or 1.3 liters of water to this solution to bring the pH up to positive 0.4.